there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and here I am in front of my new house. Actually, we've had this house for almost exactly seven days now. It'll be seven days tomorrow. And we have done a few things to the outside. We have started moving into the basement. As you know, if you've been following my channel, my husband and I just decided to buy a new house, which is on the water, which I'm really excited about because we've always wanted to live on a lake. It's a small lake, but at least it's a lake. And basically, I made this video a week ago, the day of closing, but it didn't really turn out very well. You know, it just didn't work. So I thought I would go ahead and remake the video again today so I could show you a little bit about where we are right now in the move-in process. And for those of you who like home improvement, Alan and I will be moving into the basement of this house. We've started moving things over by car, but we don't close on our current home till the end of this month and that's when the movers will come and uh, basically they'll move us into the basement because we're going to be remodeling the whole house and if you'd like to see some videos about that then let me know in the comment section there'll be a lot of before and afters of the rooms in the house and so let me just go ahead and I'll give you a little house tour of the house as it is now it is definitely a before house tour I really like white trim so all through the house all the wood you see will be turned white. All the kitchen cabinets, bathroom vanities, everything will turn white. And the wall colors will change. All the tile will change. The granite will change. I'm going to be trying some of that new whitish color of quartz, which I've never done before. That should be interesting. So anyway, thank you for stopping in today. And let me know in the comments section if you like home fix-up videos, because I guess this is a before picture and I'll get started with the outside and show you where the house is right now. Okay, one of the first things I did was buy jewelry for our garage doors. These are just really inexpensive metal garage doors, very, very plain looking, as you can tell, not very exciting. But I went ahead and added the black accents, and they are actually plastic, amazingly enough. They are magnetic, and they're like $30 a set, and that might have been three sets for all three of the doors. But these are plastic, but you can't tell, and they wear beautifully, according to the reviews. And it just looks like you have metal straps on your door. And I particularly like these. They look, uh, they look like iron, even though they're plastic. And it took me all of about an hour to figure out the placement of all of those little items on the garage door. I consider it garage jewelry. And I really thought we got a lot of bang for, for our buck. Okay, this is the outside of the house and it does have a circle drive and I'm not really a circle drive person because it's a lot of concrete, but I have an idea maybe to have the sidewalk stained and also the front porch. But there's a look at the front of the house and it is a one story even though it has the little dormer windows. Okay, here we are approaching the front door. There's my little rose trellis. I brought that over from the house yesterday. Had a bunch of stuff cleaned out there by our landscape guy. These are daylilies that I brought from the other house. I hope they'll make it because once we get the landscape plan done for this, I really want to incorporate those daylilies in there. Daylilies do have to be divided, so they needed to be divided anyway. These were from the other house and they're real. They look fake. <laughs> so anyway, here we go. Here is the front of the house. There is the door and I would prefer a larger wreath or like a basket, something like that, but it works, you know, it's from my other house and so that makes it cost effective, which is great. Okay, here we are in my big project. <laughs> and so this is the dining room area and it has a very strange light. Let me know in the comments section if you like that. My, my daughter-in-law likes that. I don't really like that. I think it looks too Jetsons. But then they have this big wall. Here's the dining room area, and then that will be the entry area. We're going to get rid of the tile, and all of this flooring, I don't really like it. It's walnut, and it's very orange and variegated in color. And so walnut is such an expensive wood that we're going to add some more wood flooring in some of the hallways, and so we're going to have the walnut removed and replace it with white oak, which is what I have in my current house. And that wall right there will actually be removed. I can't imagine that they left that wall in there because this is just really strange to come in the front door 
and you've just got this little area. You know, there's the front door, and there's the dining room with the big set of doors there. It makes no sense. So let me know in the comments section if you'd like to see my carpenter rip that wall down because I think that should be really fun, and that will open that up to that other part of the room there. In fact, I'll go ahead and show you what's in the other part of the room, which is this great room, and I'm very excited. It has a nice fireplace. All of the wood trim all over the house will become white, painted wood, and there is why we bought the house, and uh, that is that little lake out there. Absolutely love it. We, we did have a snake show up on the patio yesterday. I guess that and goose poop are some of the reasons you don't want a lake, but I really am excited about that lovely view. And again, this is the great room, and that wall will be removed, so the dining room and the living room area will be here. It has a couple of built-in shelves, which I really like those. Those are lit up at night. And this is our couch. <laughs> Alan decided we needed a couch, and so we just used two soccer chairs. And we come sometimes after we've worked here all day, bringing loads back and forth from the other house because we don't close on the other house till the end of the month. And so we're moving the small things over before the movers come at the end of the month. But we sit on the couch and, and look at the view. So that's what we do. And this is another weird thing. Why in the world would you have a pass through there? Why not just have a wider archway? And so our carpenter will be expanding that archway removing the pass-through, and that bar, the granite on the bar, will come around a little more there. And this is the little eating area. And, you know, while I like it, it has a strange new fixture, which looks like, it looks like, like the Jetsons. It looks like some kind of a Martian vehicle, and it is plastic, which is, it's just not very, not very attractive. But this is the kitchen, and it is very old world looking. And all of the cabinets and the trim and everything will be painted white. And we're going to replace all the granite. All of this granite will become, we think, quartz. Let me know in the comments section if you've used quartz, if you like quartz. But it's going to be a white look all the way around the outside of the kitchen. And then that little island will actually be painted white too. And the top of the island will be a black granite called Absolute Granite and it will be extended a little more than it is. It's, it's strange, like the depth of the granite is right on top of the cabinets, which looks a little strange. But I do have a double oven, which I'm excited about. You know, if you followed my channel, you know I'm not much of a cook, but for Thanksgiving and Christmas, it is nice to have a double oven. I'm excited about that. We're going to replace out the little tiny microwave, which is very strange, and the refrigerator is in bad shape. So we'll get a new one of those. And they did install this light in here, and I really like that. I'm thinking of going a little bit into the gold, although my furniture is primarily blacks, whites, and grays. I wanna keep that. Let me know if you do like the gold fixtures, because I'm thinking about keeping that. Okay, then we go off the back of the kitchen, and there's a little coffee bar here, and it will have black granite on the top, and again, the white trim. You know, all of this wood will be white. Now let's go back to the master bedroom wing. Well, before I do that, there's the master wing, but here is the little living room area, and I do mean little. This room is only 12 by 12, it is totally small, and my son Dylan loves libraries. And so we're calling this the Dylan room, and we actually do have to buy a new couch and two new chairs for this room because it is so small, it's only 12 by 12. Our current living room furniture won't fit here, but all of these shelves will become white. We might do a little TV there, not sure about that. But anyway, here we are again, and again, this will be hardwood floors. That wall will be gone, and all of the trim will be white. And then this is the master wing, and before we get to the master, which is right there, there is a little room there that I call the mini bedroom because we saw this thing and it was so tiny, we didn't even know if we could get a bed in there. But we did measure and we can get a double bed in here only and maybe a little hutch will go right there. And then here's the tiny little mini bath and it is brown, brown tile, brown countertop, brown everywhere. And we think we're going to turn this into kind of a navy bath, maybe do a light countertop, not sure, new mirror, new lighting, new everything. And one thing the carpenter is going to do, 
I think that's a very odd looking box up there, but it is good storage. So he's going to be adding some crown molding on the tops of those units, which are in all the bathrooms. But here's the little mini room. I do like the tall doorways. And again, all of them will be painted white. Problem with this is that the painter is really gonna have to fill the trim wood carefully. This is a terrible wood that they used a lot 10 or 12 years ago called Knotty Alder. And look at that. It has a lot of little problems in it. Isn't that awful? So he can't just paint this. His people have to fill all of these little knots. Let me know if you've ever dealt with Knotty Alder or if you like it. If you like kind of a rustic look, I think you might really like it. It's kind of not my style though. I like white painted trim. Okay, this is the master. And it looks large, but it's really not as large as it looks. It has this gorgeous view, which I can't imagine waking up every morning to this view. I'm so excited about that. It even has a little waterfall. You can't see it on the other side of the tree. But anyway, it, it overlooks the deck there. And then I have two closets. This is my closet, which has a lot of storage there, which will be great. And this room will also be hardwood floor as well, but this will be carpeted. We're getting new carpet in the additional bedrooms and also the closets. There is my husband's closet, which he'll think he's died and gone to heaven, but he's not Mr. Clothes Horse. He really doesn't care. And this is a project. This is the master bath, and it is like a corridor. It is the tiny, tiny, tiny little master bath. Look at this, very, very strange. Anyway, what we're planning to do is to get rid of this big hunky thing in the middle, put this counter down all along here. Basically, this would be chopped off and probably there would be like a shelf here, but all of this would be white, different hardware. We're probably going to use the same tile and the same black granite that we used in our current master bath. I'll show you a picture of that you can kind of get a sense of what this bathroom will look like from looking at that bath. We just did that bath about nine months ago. They always say prior to moving, people usually do a big remodeling project and we did that with that bath. But anyway, this bath has a huge almond tub, which I don't like. It also has a soffit up here. What would you do with those cabinets up top? Put toilet paper there? I don't think so. I mean, they're so tall, but so we're gonna remove that. We're gonna blow that out and move those lights up to the ceiling. We're going to replace out that bad looking window just for a plain glass window and then the plantation shutters. And then we'll just have a freestanding tub there and new tile. Everything in here will be new. And this shower will also be blown out at the top. We're going to take that up to the ceiling to give us a bigger feel in here, hopefully. But this is a very, very large two person shower. And we'll keep that idea for sure, but it will have light tile. And so then there's the little potty room in there, but all of these dated fixtures will go, all of the faucets will go, everything in here will be white and different colors. Okay, so let's head back out of the master. There's the front door, and there's where the dining room table will be. And again, this wall will be removed, walking through the family room. I thought about to save money just painting the tiles on that hearth area black. I've done that in previous houses. It works pretty well. Going back through the kitchen here. Now we're going to head to the back wing of the first floor, which just has a couple of bedrooms in it. There is the mud room. The garage is down there and the basement is down there. This is the laundry room, complete with terrible tile. All of this tile will go. The tile out here will become wood floor, that white oak wood floor, and that laundry room will be retiled. And I'm going to use the same granite here that I used at my former house. I really like it. It's really pretty. I'll try to include a picture of it to show you. But all this will be wood floor. But then these two rooms will be carpeted, little tiny bedroom here and little tiny bedroom here. I thought at first about keeping the carpet but it's very gold, and so I want something that has a, a lighter lighter color to it. And this room has that beautiful view of the lake, which is very nice. This will be my son Colin's room when he comes from Grand Rapids. Nice closet there. And then we have a very brown Jack and Jill bath. 
And I'll show you the picture that is kind of my inspiration picture so far, at least my idea so far on this Jack and Jill bath. Basically, all of the everything will be replaced out and the vanities will become white, white countertops. I'm thinking about doing a very white look in here. Now, there is the tub surround and amazingly enough, instead of replacing the almond tub surround, I'll see if I have a light here. Let me see, oops, too much noise. Well, maybe not, too much noise. But tub surrounds and tubs can actually be painted with marine paint and I'll go in with a white and my painter will be doing that. Apparently it is very durable. And then this second little half of the Jack and Jill bath that is all brown will hopefully become that white style, probably even with chrome fixtures. Kind of excited to try that. I don't know if I'm bold enough to go back to chrome. But anyway, that's the little bedroom wing. Okay, let's head down to the basement. There's the mudroom area. There are our shoes because as you'll see in a few moments, the former owner, just before they put the house on the market, they got new carpet in the basement and for some reason it is white. And I'm really not enamored of that at all, but at least we have new carpet that we didn't have to buy, that's good. It also has this pretty ugly, ugly carpeting on the stairway, which is probably original with the house, probably 15 years old, gold and blue. That will be replaced out to something dark and a little more modern. And here is da 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 da, my white carpet. And as you can see, we're trying to keep it white by taking off our shoes and also having a lot of scatter rugs here, at least until we get moved in. And as you can see here, we've started moving in things that we can, that we can put in our car from the other house, which is only five blocks away. So just some decor items there. There is the little bar area. Here's a look at the whole basement rec room. There it is, and this bar will become white. All of the trim and the cabinets will become white. And I'm thinking to save money about not doing granite. I probably will do a Formica again, which is what's on the countertop, and I like this. I think that's really pretty. Look how well that goes with the white carpet, too. I like that. And again, all these cabinets will be white, and we'll replace out the tile and replace out the tile floor there. And so anyway, there is a look at the lake again, and it is very pretty. And this is the patio where Alan found a snake yesterday, which we searched on the web, and it's a rat snake. So I hope we don't have rats. <laughs> and then here is a pool table that the owners left. And we've discovered in a closet, there is a navy blue ping pong tabletop, which will be great. We love table tennis in this family. And here is the area where we will watch TV. And Alan and I love to watch Netflix. So there is that part of the house. It has a little fireplace which will become painted white and the walls will change color. And it does not fit our 75 inch TV in the basement and it's not very attractive. And unfortunately it's built in. And so that means the carpet was cut around it. So we can't take it out. So what we're going to do is that we're going to talk to our carpenter and hopefully he can just Keep, you know, get rid of most of the top part, keep this part, keep the two little pedestals on the sides because my husband has these huge speakers, two on each side that he would like to keep. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. We'll paint it white to blend it in a little more. This is where my husband will have his little office. He has black office furniture here. And again, there's a beautiful look at the lake. I'm so excited to live on the lake. Okay, this is a look at the family room again. And this is going to become my exercise room. We love French doors here. We're not sure if we're gonna do that, but that would be nice. It will have a mirror there, and then all of my exercise equipment will be scattered around this room. I'd like to get a large weight machine too, and I definitely think I have the room in this room to do that, which is great. And this is the little wing off the rec room. And here is another brown, brown bathroom. Not sure yet what we're going to do with this, but the color for the downstairs is going to be navy, so we'll probably have some navy accents in there. And da 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 da, this is my YouTube room. This is where I will be making videos in the future. As you can see, it's a very, very gold room with gold curtains. It does have a great closet, which we've already filled up. Unfortunately, there's my eye restores there. Love those. I, I'm still using them after all these years. And I'm not sure yet if that will be 
the backdrop for my YouTube videos or if this will be. And I'm kind of thinking it should be that because then I can use the same picture that I have over at the other house. But anyway, time will tell on that. Now we're going to be walking back through, back through the rec room or the family room. And we have some family furniture. There's an oak round table that was Alan's grandmother's that will be there. There's just a little furnace room there. And this is kind of interesting. This is a storage room that is carpeted. And as you can see, the lights are terrible. And at first I thought, who would ever carpet a storage room? That seems awful. But actually, I'm not minding it. I'm not minding it at all. And as you can see, we have these wonderful things, and I'll link them below. If you're moving, these are fabulous little zippered cases, very lightweight, nice because you can see through them. There those are. Alan made some shelves for us from Sam's. We've got lamps and assorted stuff. And for the first probably three or four months, Alan and I will be living in this little room in the basement. And so our basement furniture will go there. And uh, again, our furniture doesn't come until the moving truck comes at the end of this month. But we have all of our, all of our bedding is just stacked along this wall here. And we have a decent sized closet in here. And then this is the bathroom that we'll be using down here mostly. And it's kind of an ugly brown bathroom, just like all of them. And uh, basically we will be replacing the countertops. All the trim and the vanity will become white. We'll be spraying that tub surround white. Well, that was a look at my new home. And again, Alan and I will be moving into the basement because the whole first floor will be getting new everything, basically. It'll, it will have a complete remodel and we'll live in the basement for probably three months to four months until that is completed. And then we'll move upstairs and we'll move our furniture out of the garage. The movers are going to move our upstairs furniture into the garage for the first three to four months. And once our furniture gets moved into the first floor when that's complete, then we'll go ahead and do the basement. And again, if you'd like to see befores and afters of the transformation of this house, I would love to share this with you. And if you have ideas on surviving a remodel or decorating ideas, anything you'd like to share, if you'll share it in the comment section below the video, that way we can help each other, which is always good. Take care, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.